Our first selection tonight is When Thunder Comes, written by Emmy Valverde. This composition celebrates civil rights movements, and you will hear the names of American civil rights heroes who strenuously fought for the cause of equality. Sylvia Mendez fought against racial discrimination as a nine-year-old girl, attending court every day to plead for school desegregation. Helen Zia sought Asian American rights and countered hate violence and homophobia in fighting for peace and racial unity. Harvey Milk was the first openly gay elected official in California's history, fighting to ban discrimination on the basis of sexual orientation. The Freedom Summer Soldiers risked their lives to enfranchise black voters. More than 80 workers were beaten and three murdered as they attempted to register African-American voters in Mississippi. All of these activists have contributed to freedoms. They have allowed our own community to thrive in its diversity. Their tireless fight has led to the integration that permits our own choir to be here today, united together to make amazing music for you. When Thunder Comes is an empowering composition, reminding us that it is our generation's turn to take the torch of justice, to fight unified against discrimination and drown out fear, as we are the thunder.
The Lake Isle by Ola Yalo is a love letter to the natural world. Based on a poem by William Butler Yeats, we sing about yearning, yearning for a place of bliss and peace. Escapism from the paved city to a world of isolation, but serenity. Along with accompaniment by our amazing pianist, Dr. Choi, we are joined by members of the orchestra and their director on guitar. You will hear a reoccurring theme in both the choir and violin, a melody found deep in our hearts, calling to the Lake Isle of Innisfree.
Our next piece, Lift Every Voice and Sing, is an inspiring hymn written and arranged by the Johnson brothers, James Weldon Johnson and jo John Rosamond Johnson in the 1900s. A historical, powerful poem made into rich music about our cultures, freedoms, and our hopes for a bright future. A continuous symbol of strength, unity, and perseverance. As you listen, allow yourself to be evoked by the gorgeous sounds and lyrics. Let this be a remembrance of our culture and feelings to always lift our voices. Now announcing our soloists, Dakota, Jada, Phoebe, Caroline, and myself. Shadow. 
Heather Alvarado, Jada Campy, I'm missing, there she is, Caroline DeHaiva, Phoebe George, Paloma Supica, Dakota Rios, What a Wonderful World, arranged by Craig Hella Johnson, is a piece about togetherness and loving one another. In this piece, we sing about people coming together and realizing that when kindness is spread, it sheds light on how beautiful our world really is. When love is shared among us, it makes the world a better place. This piece features four soloists, Daniel Hernandez, Caleb Ham, Jada Campy, and myself. Thank you, and we hope you enjoy.
all over the world. They're opening up, they're coming around, and they're saying, I love you. Aiden Van Omeren, <clears throat> Caleb Ham, Daniel Hernandez, and Jada Campy. Oh my goodness gracious. Hi everybody. Thank you all for being here tonight to uh, celebrate music in Glen Cove High School. What a wonderful place to make music. What a wonderful place to spend every day with your beautiful, beautiful children. It's such an honor to stand in front of them. I know you guys are excited, but I've got the best seat in the house in front of these guys and getting to hear them sing each and every day and, and create art. Um, it truly, truly, truly is, is an absolute joy. Um, before we close and finish with our last song, a couple of quick thank yous. Um, I'd like to thank our Music Performing Arts Parents Association, better known as M Papa, for all of their support and love and... Um, Again, th without them, we wouldn't be able to do a lot of the things that we do. So Mrs. George, Mrs. Napolitano, and the entire M. Papa crew, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Where is Mrs. George? Hi, Mrs. George. I'd like to thank our, our custodial staff, uh, led by Ralph DiMaggio and Roy Bencio. They are so, so very awesome. Um, whatever we need done, they do it before we even have to ask. And, and there's such a support and help to the music department. So uh, I know they're here running around, so Ralphie and Roy, a big thank you to you and the crew. <clears throat> Um, our clerical staff in both our guidance and main office uh, for all of their support in, in what we do. Uh, certainly for the three directors, we go to them all the time. Miss Rand has to be sick of seeing my face every day. Um, but they are fantastic. Whatever we need, they're right there for us. So a big thank you to everybody in the, in the offices. <clears throat> and uh, I know Mrs. Rifkin did it, but I, I just I got to thank our administration here at the high school, Mr. Hudson, Ms. Prudenti, Ms. Padilla, our Board of Ed, who many of you I see in the audience right now, our coordinator, Mr. Nadell. Without you guys, there would be no music. So thank you guys for everything you do for our children and for our programs. <clears throat> And lastly, all of you parents that are out there who've been uh, taking your students to and from music since they were this big and doing zero period in the middle school, it's all worth it. It's all worth it when they get to uh, Mr. Guarini, Mrs. Rifkin up here in Mixed Chorus and Select Corral and they get to make music like this. Thank you guys for all of your support and encouragement throughout all of their music making in the Glen Cove schools. We're really proud of them and we're really grateful for you. Thank you all so much and have a great holiday. <clears throat>
Moses Hogan's My Soul Has Been Anchored in the Lord is a spiritual arrangement that represents the dark period of slavery in the American South when slaves seek faith. The phrase, in the Lord, my soul's been anchored in the Lord, represents their expression of hope. Their hope rested in the fact that no matter what happened to them, they would be firmly secure in their Savior. We will have a very brief 10-minute intermission, but don't go anywhere. Mrs. Rifkin and the Wind Ensemble are on the way. Happy holidays! <laughs> <laughs> 